evening everybody i'm gonna start 6414 new look it's a tunic and i'm doing b which is the long sleeves and when you see my material you were um, you will understand This is my fall print, and I want to make a shirt so when I go home to visit friends in Vermont during the fall, I'll have a fall shirt. This is 100% cotton. I got it at Hobby Lobby. And I'll try to get this done tonight. If not, I'll just continue in the morning. And I won't have a part two. Um, so, I got everything cut out. I just got to thread my machine. And then we'll be on our way. The shirt I made in the other video. This is how close I came running out of thread so I was pretty lucky okay let me get everything started up and I'll be right back okay this shirt will have a seam in the front and a seam in the back just so you all know and um, we're only using pieces one two three five and six So the first thing we're going to do is stay stitch our front and I'm going to put my safety pin in my front piece just so I know. That's the sleeve, that won't work. I saw this and I thought it was really pretty. It'll go with jeans and other color slacks. Now be sure you cut the fabric because there's a line for B and C and there's a line or for B and then there's a line for a so just be sure you get the right length okay let me get my safety pins in and this just helps to identify that this is my front and I don't get mixed up. Okay, so I just pin it in. And my dog's barking. Let me go see what's going on. Okay, so you're gonna stay stitch this way and then this way about a quarter inch okay on your front we have to make a mark whichever number you're using it's right here and that's where we're going to sew our little hem on the shirt okay now i do this a little bit different so we can have a nice V or just a nice looking top. What they want you to do is turn this first, your little thing, little seam, not thing. What I do is I sew up to the dot 
okay, all the way down because that's the next step. But when you do that, you get a 5 8 seam allowance, which you need to do. And this will just give you the perfect um, 5 8 where we're going to be turning it twice. Okay, so from that little dot, which is right here, okay, put a pin in and then match your notch and pin all the way down. So after we sew it, we'll have the perfect five eighths and then we can turn this and then turn it again. And that'll just give you the perfect seam that you need to turn. So get this all pinned up, sew to the dot and then reinforce it. And then I'll meet you at the ironing board. Okay, once you get that sewn up, come back to your sewing or your ironing board and iron this, that 5 8 seam. Keep going upwards. Get that right where it needs to be for the five eighths. Okay, now turn these under. And then I put a couple pins in mine. Okay, then sew down all the way. We're gonna square this. They don't have it squared, but it looks nice squared. And then pivot, come back over, and sew back up this way. And we're also gonna be doing that in the back piece. But this will just make it look like it's tailored. And you can see that gives you a nice V. It's not rounded or anything. It's just a nice V. Okay, get your back piece and you will have your numbers. So mark that. Everybody knows I use heat pins. So I mark when I'm gonna sew because the iron just takes off all my marks. And you're gonna stay stitch your neck Find that dot. And mark it. And then sew up your whole back and do the same thing that you did on the front to the back. So again, find your dot, pin, match your notches, and pin all the way down and then sew this and reinforce where your dot is. And this is a 5 8 seam allowance. And you'll just do the exact same thing. So you're squaring the back.
So just like the front, turn these under. And here's where your dot was. So I just go over like one or two stitches below it and then come back over. And like I said, this is called squaring. Okay, so there's your back. Okay, now we need to get number three. Okay, on your number three, there's some markings. If you haven't done them, do that. Okay, on your binding, on your unnotched side, you're going to turn under three-eighths and press that. Okay, and I get my little ruler. and press down three eighths. And do that all along. Now take your front and back. This is my back. And you're gonna sew at the shoulder seams. So match your notches up and sew them at a five eighths. So both shoulder seams match your notch. Okay, get those done and then we'll start pinning on the neckline. And once you have those sewn up, just go to your iron and open up your seam. Okay, now sew up your sides. Match your notches. And get your sides sewn up. And open those seams up. Okay, with right sides together, you have your two big dots. Those are going in the front. So pin them right at that spot. And then your small dots go on your shoulder. I got a red, there it is. Some of this has like an orange red in it. Let's see. Then find your shoulder and your other dot, the small dot, and that's going on your seam. And do that with the other side. And there is a notch there, so match your notch. And then you're going to sew that. Oh. Okay, and then you're going to sew that three eighths all around. So get that done. Okay, now you're going to have a little hanging over because you're going to have to turn this. You're going to have to turn this once we put the loop on and turn it over. You want that to be even. So you're going to have a little hanging over. Now it does say you might have to stretch this a little. But do a 3 8 seam allowance. all the way around and just be sure you have a little hanging over so you can turn it 
Okay, so you should have something like this. That's your back. That's your front. And that's going to be turned down. So it will be like this. Okay, I don't have any elastic loop. So what I do is I just make a little piece that looks like bias tape. Okay, so let me make that. And what I do is I just take a strip of material and I fold it in half. This is probably a little bit too wide, but let me see what it, how it looks. Then fold it again. And fold the other end. And then fold it on top of each other. And then I'll sew it. So if you don't have anything, I think I'm going to cut that just a little bit thinner. Okay, so if you don't have a piece, I think mine is... I think it's close to three and a half. So just do that if you don't have any of the elastic cord. And mine is about an inch and a half wide. And we'll see how that looks. If it's still a little big, you can always just cut it down. This is what I did with my other shirt also. like this then sew up your end right here and I know that's gonna be too long let's see let's cut it to about two and a half okay let's see how that's gonna look too big but that might work okay then on your left hand side right up here where that dot was you're going to put your loop down you want it the raw edges together and you're gonna baste that baste it on and then just come to your sewing machine and you want to press this seam upwards. start folding and pinning. Okay, once you get your loop on, come over here to your ironing board and press it. Okay. 
Okay, now what I do so I know that this is going to stay pressed. This little end here. I take a little of my bonding tape. It's wickery. Get my scissors. I cut it in half lengthwise. I don't use much. About like that much. And I cut it in half. So I have two pieces, but I must have just dropped the other piece somewhere. Okay, and I put it underneath where my loop is and that piece that's going to turn. And I iron it down. And I do that on both sides. One, to keep your loop straight. Number two, you don't have to worry about that little small piece flipping outwards. So let's see, then you get it just like that. So when you turn it, it's perfect. All right, I know I dropped my other little piece. Let me cut another little piece. And I'm gonna do it to this end. So I'll just turn this, press it. a little piece. wish I could find that. And I just stick it in there. And I get that even with that piece that we did the five eighths. trim or backing or front squaring I guess okay see and that just keeps it down that way I don't have to worry about it you know flipping up now we're gonna sew like a button on here but we have to bring this down and it's going to be sewing in the ditch. So be sure you pin in the front. But bring this and fold it. Press it. Come back. Take your pin. And put it in the ditch. And see where you come out. I could go down just a little bit lower. Because you want to get enough when you sew in the ditch that you're catching material. Okay, that's good. And then pin it on the outside. Then just keep going down and pressing and putting your pin in, in the ditch. Be sure that this material is pulled. Okay, so you don't have any wrinkles or creases. Go right in the ditch and I'll be coming out right there. And that's close enough. So do that all the way around. Be before you sew, check 
and be sure this is all straight. You don't want any bumps in it. So this is what you should have. Right here. I'm just going to put a pin right at this opening. Because I want to be sure I get that. Okay. Go sew in the ditch. Take your time. And start in the middle. Not like in the middle, but kind of right in here. Okay, here's your opening for your front. So about two inches away. So, so when you get to this loop, your needle won't have a hard time getting through. So just start doing that. Okay, let me see if I can get this. So here's your loop. So just start just a little ways from it. And start sewing in the ditch, taking your time. Just check your back and be sure you got everything. If you didn't, I missed right there. Just pin it and go back. And then if you want, you can sew down your little neck here. If you want, just like right up in here, if you want to sew that. So let me get this little section fixed. Okay, so this is what you should have. You got to put a button on here, on your back. Okay, this is the front. Okay, now we're going to do the sleeves. you're doing the sleeveless you'll have a band that just goes around okay on the sleeves we have to ease stitch so that's going to be from notch to notch ease stitching just bring your stitch a little bit longer and leave a tail you might have to pull this a little and then leave a tail at the end okay after you get that done don't forget to put your sewing machine back to your regular stitch you don't want to be stitching with a long stitch okay okay after you have this eased you're gonna sew up the sleeve and you're going to do it the exact same way as you did the front and back you're going to leave you're going to square your sleeve and then you're going to gather this and it's supposed to have a loop and a button i'm going to do it different i'm going to do a band like this just because with my arthritis it's really hard sometimes for me to get a button done 
So what I did is I took a piece, I measured it, it's gonna be about like that. It's 10 inches. And I folded under, well I stitched it together, folded under three eighths. And then what I'm gonna do, put a pin, fold this in half, and put a pin. And this is gonna be the front of your sleeve. So just fold your sleeve in half and find your middle right here. And then with the raw edges together, pin that. And go all the way around pinning the band. Now you might have to loosen it a little, tighten it a little. It's going off. It's almost bedtime for him. Let me go cover him up. Okay, so where your seam is on your V, I'll call this a V, you want to put one piece of that seam close to this one, right on top. Get your other one and line it up and pin it. Oops, my top fell off, or the middle. this again. Okay. It's almost uh, time for my bird to go to bed. Okay, that's the middle. So pin that. Okay, then work around and pin this. Now you might have to adjust it a little. He's a crazy bird when it gets this late. Okay. And pin the other side. <laughs> okay, pin this. And just try to get these to look straight or even I should say and then you're gonna sew this at three eighths now this is not in the instructions this is what I'm doing personally okay so once that's sewn you're still going to have a little opening here, but you won't have the loop and button. And then I just kind of go around, stretch this out, and kind of see if my sleeve is even. And I'll put it on. And that looks pretty good. 
it's gathering now. But I will still have this little hole. But not the button. Okay. Let me get this one sewn on. And then I think I will continue tomorrow. I got to get my bird to bed. He's being pretty loud. I don't want the neighbors to complain. <laughs> but just be sure everything is like evenly gathered. And three eighths. And then um, I'll continue this tomorrow morning. So you all have a good night and I will see you in the morning. Okay, good morning everybody. I got my um, sleeve sewn on, or my band. And now we're gonna turn this under and sew in the ditch. Now, because this is such a small area, I'm gonna be using my stitch wickery, which is the heat tape. And then I'll sew along. So if you have any of that, that's great. So just be sure that you got the three eighths turned up here. And you can pin this also. Let me start at my seam. So kind of get it right above that stitch line. Get a little bit of space here so we can get this turned. Okay. And then just take a piece of your tape and open it up. and lay it right below that seam. Like the gathering seam. Just a little above it. Can get my fingers to work this morning. And press it. And that way, when you sew in the ditch, if you don't get it exactly, it's still going to stay down. So if you don't have any of this tape, just get it the best you can and pin it or clip. more tape just lay it right below that gathering line and press it and then go back to your sewing machine and sew in the ditch So see, then you have it, it's pretty put on there. It's tight on there. So, okay, let me finish this one and finish my other sleeve and then we'll move on. Now, after you do this, if it's a little too loose for you, just leave an opening and you can always put elastic in. Okay, if you hear my bird 
going up. My husband had to run to the store quick and I had to open up my sewing room door. So you'll probably hear the bird. And if he comes out with anything not nice with his potty mouth, um, excuse him. <laughs> Okay, before you sew these on, measure them. Be sure you have them even. And I am. Okay, now we're going to sew the sleeve on. Be sure you get the right sleeve on the shirt. So, I'm going to do... my three points, well actually four, I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna place a safety pin right on top. And I'm gonna do my seams first. Now remember we eased this in, so we're gonna ease it on the top. So get your seams done. Okay, now be sure this one has the single notch. So pin that. That's the other bird. We have two. Okay. And then see, this one has the double notch. And this side has the double notch. So this is the right sleeve that goes to this. And pin it. Now we're going to go to the top of the shirt. And that is right here. And that is where my pin is. So I'm going to pin right there. Be sure those seams are opened up. Okay, now we're gonna ease this in. So find your thread and then just kind of, where's my other thread? Oh, let me try this one. Okay. And just kind of ease it in. Now you don't really want it gathered. You just want to ease this in. Now with easing, you can have a few bumps up top, but you don't want it to go past the 5 8 mark. Because then it'll show like a crease. But if you can ease it in, and keep from five eighths out without the crease or the gathering. Okay, when you're sewing, be sure you put your hand down here and be sure this is all flat. Okay, once you're done sewing that, Open up your shirt and just be sure you didn't catch any of your 
shirt. I got one little crease, but it's under my arm, I think. I'll fix it. You just pull that out and then just stretch it. Okay, and then from notch to notch, sew again along your seam line. So let me just fix that little spot that I saw. Not that it's a major deal, but I'll fix it. And you can see I'm right on with my seam. Okay, then get your pinking shears and just like cut half of this five eighths around. Don't get your shirt. Okay, let me sew on my next sleeve and then we have the hem and I have to sew on a button in the back for that loop and that will be it okay the only thing left is the hem it's a narrow hem so if you want to put it on and see if you need to make a bigger hem, you can do that. This is inside out, but I'm just seeing. Okay, I'm going to do a narrow hem. So get your clips out. Just be sure everything's even on your seams. If it's not, just clip it a little. turn under about a quarter and then a quarter again and clip. I'm doing about three eighths. Let me, yeah, I think I'm going to do about three eighths. And then just keep going around. And then when you come back, flip it again. Clip it. And then you're going to sew right on that folded line. Okay, everybody, here it is. Okay, that was new look 6414 right here. I did a 12 and it fits great. I used 100% cotton and uh, just a little time. I did switch the arm band because I didn't want a button here and that's about the only thing that I changed so um, tomorrow that shirt that I had on today I'm gonna make one out of this
for fall. So I'll probably get that done tomorrow. I might make a video again of it um, if I do any changes in it. Um, so that'd be it for today. Please like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. We're just about 25 people um, away from subscribing to um, give away a serger. Um, please look at the special video for a free pattern for the month. This is all for USA residents and subscribers. Um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. And uh, I will talk to you all later. Have a great afternoon.